Hey, it's a Brigzar. Did I ever do a video on this? This was one of my most wanted sets for 2018 that we got. It's the Red Train Station set 2150 Metro Station. Lego made some amazing train stations in the 9 volt area. I think the best train stations were these two from the 9 volt area. The 455 Four, I think it is metro station and the 21 metro 2150 metro station Th this one and this one are basically the same builds uh, there's f with a few variations so this one's in yellow and this one's in red I love this train station it's just a it's a nice terminal <laughs> so to speak uh, and I love this one too thank you brick vibe Check out Brick Vibe on YouTube and Bricklink. He's the one that sent me this as a gift. And uh, anyway, thank. That's that's another one. We did do. I know we did a video showing this, and then me finishing it up. Uh, thanks to Brick Vibe uh, for sending us that with a box. But this one, again, very similar. Uh, like this one is a red station with a yellow baggage cart. This one is a yellow station with a red baggage cart. <laughs> Neat. I almost, I don't even mind that. I wouldn't even mind Lego doing that with some of the buildings. Just the same basic build, but different colors. You know, they could do that with some of the modular buildings if they wanted to. Uh, but anyway, really like this train station. It's been on my shelf for a while. I'm probably going to be taking these apart as I'm trying to uh, inventory my entire collection. And then one day I can rebuild them again. Have that joy of building them all over. And... Um, when I got a train layout going for the Lego world. But let's just show you uh, kind of the, the things that you get. We get these cool minifigures. We got the cop. We got the Paradisa mustache guy. Another Paradisa mustache guy. Paradisa girl. <laughs> the cool glasses guy. What is with all the Paradisa mustaches? Oh yeah, it was the 90s. Everybody had that mustache then in the 90s apparently. They look like Tony Stark's father from Captain America there. You know, I... I don't know. But anyway, Howard Stark is his name. You got the baggage cart in yellow, the train timetable. This light fixture got missed. Has anybody been getting missed? Uh, is that bothering anybody? Let me fix this. Light fixture. Messed up. Oops. There. That's better. All right. And then you got the sign there and the rail. Yeah. Just love all the windows. Uh, we got to turn this thing around so you can see the other side. Oh, yeah. There's the phone and there's the seats. So there's the the seats in the waiting area. Oh, there's that payphone right there. We got the little cafe area with the coffee maker and I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, whatever. And then the control tower up here where the train conductor can sit there and see what trains are coming and going and signal it to the other guy to tell him, okay, you can leave the station now or whatever. And he has to climb up there by a ladder. So even here in the 90s, i got to be honest and say Lego all through the 80s and the 90s, and maybe even today, uh, the interior details uh, left a lot to be desired. But man, look at this. It just looks it just looks good. Even as a partial building, it looks good with your trains coming up. As long as you don't look at it from the other side. Oh, I lost the track. It looks good. <laughs> it just looks really good. So tell me in the comments below, do you think these were good train stations? Do you wish Lego made train stations like this now? Do you like the yellow one better or the red? Yellow or red? Tell me in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next train video. Bricks are.